This summer, Natalia and I spent our holidays exploring the coastline of Brittany, in the northwest of France. Famous for its dramatic coastline, stunning beaches, and home to some of France's most charming villages. We hiked a few sections of the super-famous GR34 trail in the Crozon Peninsula, and we were absolutely amazed by the views and, surprisingly, the tranquility we found. Mass tourism is not an issue there, and we absolutely love it. The coastline of Brittany has the largest concentration of lighthouses in the world. This is the San Matteo Lighthouse, built in 1835 by the ruins of an old abbey. During World War II, Brittany was occupied by Nazi forces and several naval battles were fought here as the Allied forces tried to regain control of Brittany's most important naval bases. During our hikes, we came across several landmarks, museums and memorials that made us reflect about this dark chapter of our history and hope it will never be repeated. It's hard to believe, but Brittany's beaches became one of our most favorites in the world. They have some of the whitest sand and clearest turquoise waters we have ever seen. And even in the height of summer, we saw basically local surfers and families going for an after-work swim. We definitely enjoy our time by the sea, totally hassle-free, it was amazing. Every time our stomachs were growling, we were delighted by local specialties. In our last day in Crozon, we took a 3-hour boat trip and had a great time sailing around the peninsula, observing the relentless work done by the waves and the tides carving more than 400 colorful caves in the coastal cliffs. We drove towards north and spent the last couple of days of our vacation in the super interesting city of Samalo. What impressed us the most was how much the tides changed the landscape of the city. The sea level moved up and down by approximately 12 meters every 6 hours, so in the morning you might have a long sandy beach and in the afternoon no beach at all. We couldn't drive back home without a quick stretch to Normandy's most famous attraction, the Mont Saint-Michel, which attracts more than 3 million visitors a year. Trying to avoid the crowds, we got there early morning, and boy, that was worth it. The place is special, absolutely amazing, and is well worth of a visit. Brittany was such a pleasant surprise, and there's so much more to explore. We'll be back.